Are you a recently convicted felon? Mm -hmm. It might be the ghrelin. You can't stop screaming and yelling? Come on, guys. You know what I'm going to say. It, it might, might be, be the ghrelin. ghrelin. Now, I know what you're thinking. The hormone ghrelin is a hormone that's related to appetite. And we've known for years that an empty stomach produces high levels of ghrelin. Now, that oh. ghrelin tells your brain, hey, man, I'm hungry. Feed me. So ghrelin increases appetite. But guess what? Researchers in Sweden have found that ghrelin does more. Much more. And what they have found is that it is related to impulsivity and impulse control. The higher your ghrelin levels, the lower that impulse control. So basically, high ghrelin levels don't only make you feel hungry, they can make you more impulsive. Now, that could be a problem because high ghrelin levels can make you overeat and they can make you engage in all kinds of behavior. Alcoholism, criminality, I mean, ghrelin can make you be a real bad dude. Now, why do we care, though? Well, because we don't want to be bad dudes. Well, yeah, that's true. But the same Swedish research is working on an anti-ghrelin medication. They're, wait, I, wait, wait. They're working on a medication that can help to modify ghrelin levels? That's what I'm saying. And so, not only does that have applications to appetite, of course. So I won't overeat anymore if I take no, You're going to still overeat. You're going to still overeat. But it has far-reaching applications beyond appetite. We're talking about impulse control as it relates to alcoholism, drugs, and criminality. So it's some pretty exciting stuff, actually. So basically, this medication may make me a better all-around person. It might, and God knows we need that. I'm Dr. Idris. I'm Dr. Jamil. And this has been an exciting, ghrelin-filled Today's Medical Moment. I'm hungry. I need some cookies. Stay healthy, guys.